Hi everybody, this is Forrest for Faulty Lid, and today we're going to be doing another Tracer flank route video, this time on Dorado. Now, when attacking Dorado, there are really two paths I want to take at the start. And basically, the first path I'm, I'm usually going to take when we come out of spawn at the beginning of a match is I'm going to go through this tunnel, and I want to come up to here, come out this door, and then creep my way up this back staircase. I don't really want to use blinks coming through this courtyard. I don't really want to alert the enemy to my position because they're all going to be set up up here and they're all going to be looking down at the oncoming payload. So there's actually a decent chance that I can get a pick onto someone that's not looking. So try to be as sneaky as possible. Try to get that pick. And if you do get it, you can snowball the whole first point. Be ready to face an enemy in this bottom hallway here. A lot of times Roadhogs like to hang out and wait for tracers or any other flankers to come through and then hook them as soon as they come around the corner. As an alternative for our opening move, we can come around this way. Come up this staircase here, there's a big medikit over there, and then come across this balcony. And we can kind of choose to either attack the people on this ledge by coming up this way, or what I like to do is come around this right side and attack anybody who wants to head over to the choke point first. Sometimes you can catch a squishy just running in transition uh, with away from the rest of their team and you can capitalize on the enemy team being a little bit out of sync. Once the enemy team is set up behind the choke point, it gets a little bit tricky to attack this map as Tracer, but definitely still possible. What we want to do is get into their back line by some way, so there's a couple ways I like doing that. Uh, depending on where they are at the choke and where the payload is, maybe we've created a little bit of space for ourselves. We might be able to blink right into this building and get around this way and flank around like that. But it usually requires that we've created at least some space for ourselves in order to do that. If the payload isn't pushed up enough for us to go right, we can come across the high ground and go to this back alley over here and heal up if we need to. Once we're in this building, we can use this as a hub to attack this area. We can use this window to check out the enemy team, see if there's an opening we like, come out the door, do the same. And if we don't like any of that, we can come around and attack from this side, which hopefully they won't be expecting at this point. Once we get through that first point on Dorado, the second point is a lot better for Tracer and there are a lot of flank routes available to us. So what we're probably going to see now from the defenders is they're going to take high ground right along this church and along this bridge. So we want to take a flank route that sets us up to attack that. There are several options on how we can flank that high ground. What One that I like to do is come across this ledge here. And if I have a pulse bomb ready, what I'm going to do is go around this corner and stick whoever is hanging out on this balcony here. Alternatively, we can flank right through the church and come out this door or that door right there onto this balcony. But just be aware that it's always dangerous to come out of a door where there can be enemies on the left and right of you. Our other option for flanking the high ground is to go around the left side and one that I like to do is come around this statue here and I can't actually go through this right now just because of the way the spawns are set up in this skirmish game but normally when you're at this point in the game you can walk right through the bank vault and it will take you to this point right here and once we're at this point we can walk up the staircase and grab the health kit if we need it and most enemies aren't really looking to see if someone's coming up this back staircase if they didn't see you coming. So if you went through that bank vault, you're probably going to be able to get up to this high ground unseen. And once you're there, you can attack someone, maybe get them to jump off the ledge, maybe stick someone, just cause some chaos to allow your team to do some work. Once we want to fight in the straight phase of Dorado, we're probably going to have another fight right by this checkpoint and the payload's going to be around this area. So at that point, we're really looking to do a left flank or a right flank around this area. So the left flank is just going to be like I just showed you guys, come around through the bank vault or just come around through that left side and come out, either come out the high ground or the low ground to attack this area. But the other option is to use this side of the map and we can come out this right side here if we wanted to. But more than likely, we're going to want to get to their back line by coming around this way and hitting them like this. 
And also, don't be afraid to come around through their back spawn and hit them totally by surprise from behind. The final point on Dorado is a little bit tricky because it is a circle which is great for Tracer, but we don't have access to the left flank of it. So, what we're gonna do is choose to do some kind of flank through this right room here. Now, this means that we either come through this bottom area and we come out this way and hit them from behind like this if they're pushed up, or if the checkpoint's further back, we can blink into this back room here and come up this staircase, either come out this way to attack like this, or go all the way around to here. There's another medkit around right over here. Uh, we come around to here, and we can attack them from this area. If we don't flank through this low ground area, what we're going to do is come up to the high ground, and then we can use this to get to pretty much anywhere we want on this map. So we can actually use this high ground platform if we'd like and blink off of that, turn around and go to work from there. Or we can get into their back area by just going across the high ground, coming down this staircase here, and now we have access to their back line and we can start harassing and hopefully get a pick with our teammates. The third point on Dorado is also one of the few payload maps I really like playing Tracer on in the last point. And to do that, it's kind of like Nambani, you come around this right side, right by this drop, and when you see that the enemy is pushed in, and they've already committed to the fight, that's when you drop down here, you come around, and you pick off their supports while the rest of their team is focusing on your front line and pushing the payload. That's going to do it for this video. I think Dorado is one of the trickier maps to play Tracer on, though she can be very good in the second area and helpful in the first area because attacking the first area without any flankers can be next to impossible. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This has been Forrester Faulty Lid, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.